once love is meteoric. His loyalty, astronomic. His purpose, titanic. His verdicts, oceanic. Yet, in his largeness, nothing gets lost. Before I was formed in the womb, you knew me. Before I was born, you set me apart. Your destiny set to be fulfilled in an imperfect little body. When I heard the doctor said cancer when I was 15, I think it didn't really sink into me because it was such a big word. I just felt very overwhelmed and very scared. And at the same time, I felt very lonely. A lot of my peers, they were prepping for all levels and they were in secondary school. So school was the first thing on your mind as a 15-year-old kid, or like your friends. And But then for me, I was essentially given a death sentence, a um, survival rate of 20 to 30%. I had to go through several rounds of chemotherapy and then surgery and uh, immunotherapy as well. And it never felt like it was ending. The thing that really struck me, because uh, it felt my whole future just was being thrown off because um, I was sick and I had to go through treatment as well, yeah. And it felt very unfair. In that valley moment where I was such in a dark place, you know, God was the only one that I felt a lot of comfort talking to. And I felt like, you know, he was there to listen to me and I felt a lot of love from him. You know, despite like, the odds against me, I just knew like somehow, like deep in my heart that God will, um, he'll heal me. Uh. Edita, can you introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Avita and I'm from Level 4. On July 2012, last year, I was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma. Like the day before the surgery, I felt very um, nervous, very tense. But then on that day, I um, just felt like very calm. God gave me like this calmness and He said that everything's gonna be alright. I really give thanks to the Lord for His healing and right now I'm cancer free and I would like to give glory to God because now I'm healthy and alive. When I watched my video from 10 years ago, people thought, you know, that was the end, you know. Everything was well, but deep down inside, I was struggling a lot. I felt like an imposter because after I ended the cancer treatment, I was diagnosed with neuropathy, uh, which is nerve pain and then ovarian failure. The possibility of being a mother became very low. Even as cancer ended, you know, the journey just never seemed to end. I think that's when I started questioning my relationship with God. Why can't I just be healed fully? This God that was once so good, so great in my life, it just felt like He abandoned me. He was just done with the cancer portion of my life and He didn't love me at all. I think part of me grieved a lot, not being coming a mom. It really felt like my dreams were crushed and 
and that he didn't carry. When I was six, something physically happened to me that I did not understand. But the memories came back when I was 24. In my six-year-old mind, I think I just didn't know what it was. I think I grew up repressing it and thinking it was normal. These memories just became a shock to my system because I never felt that I was the same person again. Every time I closed my eyes, I would see a lot of these painful memories like playing. I was sexually abused by someone it was somebody I trusted and what was a friend. It really just felt like it was a huge nightmare. It became overwhelming. I didn't know who I was anymore and didn't feel like I was worthy. I didn't feel like I was loved. I just felt very broken. And I did believe wholeheartedly that I was dirty and I was like, I'm pure. And that I deserved it. God didn't protect me because he didn't want me at all. All I could feel and like think of was just pain. I really, really wanted out of it. One of my absolute darkest moments, God spoke to me. He simply said to stay, to stay with Him. I had no other choice but to trust Him. I chose to stay, to stay with God. just felt like a light in my life. There was so much love that replaced all the shame. All this pain that I had in the past, I'm not defined by it. I am loved by God. I know that God, who is outside space and time, had redeemed me. He didn't just want to heal my physical afflictions. He wanted to heal my soul as well. Even when he seemed quiet, he never left. He says, Lo, I'm with you always. Nothing shall separate us. From the love of God, says the scriptures. He provided the grace I needed, even before I knew I needed it. You come in here and you feel like even the very last thing that is precious to you is gone. But let me just tell you this, that Jesus sees you and He comes to you. It was like I was experiencing him and his grace for the very first time. Being conformed to the image of Jesus. So everything in your life, good things, bad things, amen, 
small things, big things, whatever it is, all that is happening in your life, all things are working together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. And this is not the end. I know He is still writing my story. Evita wanted you to know that she really, really loves you. Yeah. yeah. So. I know. We also love her very much. Yeah. Amen. We don't blame her also. Amen. Yeah. yeah. I think it's so important when she knows that mommy knows about it and mommy still loves her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy loves you, okay? Yeah, they always love you and support you, okay? Mm. And more importantly is God love you so mm. much, okay? Okay, mommy. God is with you. As you said, 10 years ago you told me when you discovered Dr. Toh with cancer, you told me that God will heal you. God is with you. In fact, I'm the one which is worry so much, but you told me not to worry. I love you, Mom. Yeah, I love you too, my dear. You said, okay? Yes, probably that. Be courage, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm still in shock because I didn't expect my mom to respond this way.